My name is Brent Stabener and I'm a consultant with Logan Consulting. In today's video, I will be showing you how to modify a report in Dynamics GP. GP provides a whole plethora of reports out of the box. Each module has several reports to choose from, such as trial balances, aging reports, sales analyses, and more. While these reports are very useful, they aren't always perfect. Fortunately, the layout and content of any canned report can be modified. I will show you how to modify a report and allow users to print it. First, I will modify a report. Let's start with the historic age trial balance in the purchasing module. So I go here, go to the historic age trial balance. So if we look at my options, uh, you see it's a standard historical age trial balance printed as of 2-15-2017 in the Fabricam company. So I will hit print at the top of the screen and it will print to my screen. And then at the top here there is a button called modify. So click that. A new window will open right here that is essentially a report editor. Now, as you can see, you have three different windows. In the middle, you have the report layout that is split up into different sections. There are headers right here, footers down here, and then in the middle, we'll have the information about the report, whether it's vendor or customer info, billing info, account balances, account activity, and much more. On the right here, you have the report definition window and that has information about the report that was open including tables used, formatting, printing, and restrictions. On the left you have the toolbox which uh, includes adding text boxes, shapes, graphics, report fields, calculated fields, and changing the alignment of cells and more. So he, um, I'll go ahead and make a few random changes to the report and I'll make it obvious so that we can see the new report. So here on the bottom, let's remove let's move vendor ID out here. Let's delete vendor name right here, or just delete the name right there. And we'll delete the payable the uh, company name at the top. So after you have made the changes you'll have two historical age trial balances, the original and the, and the modified. Even after the changes are saved, only a, the original will print. In order to change it, you have to navigate back to Dynamics GP, make sure you save both times. And now we are back into GP. So navigate to Administration, System, alternate slash modified forms and reports. Choose the ID that you assigned to your users initially. Choose Dynamics GP as the product, reports as the type, and purchasing as the series. If we drill down, this is the PM historical age trial balance detail that we edited. If you drill down into that, we have the original and the modified. Simply select the modified and click save. For more information, please visit our website at www.loganconsulting.com or contact us via email at info at loganconsulting.com or via phone at 312-345-8800.